Hi, my name is Ernest Holloway, and welcome to Ask a Dev. Our question for today comes from Mark. His question is, should I switch to Android Studio? That's a really great question, Mark. With Android Studio becoming more popular amongst the Android development community and also the open source community, many people are asking that question if they should make the switch. So one of the things that I want to be able to outline today are the pros and cons of switching over to Android Studio versus sticking with Eclipse. So one of the first things is that the Android Studio team, they're constantly making new updates to Android Studio to make it better. Um, one of that is actually seen with the navigation editor um, feature that's within the application. Um, the second thing is that there's a new build system, which is called Gradle, that's supported in, in Android Studio, which makes it better and easier to be able to support simultaneous builds. So, for example, you may want to be able to support different build types, which may be, hey, I want to have a build that is a dev versus a production build. And then also various build flavors where you say that, hey, I want this build to be paid versus a free version of the build. Another thing um, that you'll notice immediately when working with Android Studio is that in certain instances, when you are um, looking at performance, being able to do layout previews is very fast within Android Studio. So it makes it a joy for developers who are looking to see how their app is going to look across various screen densities. Um, the other thing um, of importance with Android Studio as well is that there's an updated workflow. So the shortcuts and then also various features that are within Android Studio makes it a lot easier for you to develop your code more quickly and, and increases your overall workflow. While it may make sense for certain people to start using Android Studio immediately, others may need to take a more conservative approach. So for starters, while instrumentation testing is fully supported with Android Studio, unit testing is not. And in order to be able to use it fully, you have to use third-party applications. The second thing to be able to consider is that typically with Android Studio, especially if you have a really large project, the build times can be a little slower than what you'll see when you're compiling your projects in Eclipse. The third point is that with Android Studio still being in beta mode, of course there's going to be frequent updates. So the development team needs to decide if any issues that may arise in between updates, if they have enough time to adjust to that in their schedule with the resources that they have um, available. During that time, they may find that they need to reach out to the Google Development Support websites in order to get any additional help that they may need for a specific build. And the last point is if you have a development team that is not used to working with Android Studio, it'll take them some time to come up to speed. However, I feel that the increase in productivity that comes with using Android Studio outweighs the learning curve associated with learning it. That's it for today's episode. Tweet your questions to hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments. Sweet.